guys here. How are you doing, fellas? Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure how well you... You know oh, yeah, I knew Hugo, and um, you know my son grew up playing with him in the uh, you know the young England teams, and um, you know fantastic lad, just absolute shock. I couldn't believe it when when I got a phone call this morning to tell me the news, and I knew he'd gone in. You know he was working at Tottenham and enjoying his work there with the young players and doing a great job. Just a absolute bolt out of the blue, you know, and. Uh, you know, obviously my condolences go out to his family and everybody who knew him and just a massive loss, really. He's from from my part of, of the country, you know, acne boy and uh, an absolute monster of a player, big, strong, powerful lad and obviously get, getting up the, 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 uh, the, going up the ranks in the coaching world as well. And so, a bit of genuine all round lovely guy. I guess it puts football into context, doesn't it, when people talk about things like relegation and life and death? Of course, yeah. I mean, you know, it's sudden, isn't it? But uh, you just never know, do you? You know, he's, he's a, it's a super fit athlete, probably, still in the prime of his life, suddenly gone down. In terms of matters on the pitch, how have your first few days been? You came in good. Behind, popular. Good, I've enjoyed it. Been good. The lads have been excellent. It's, you know, we're lucky here, we've got a good training, training pitches are fantastic, which is always, for me, is always the most important thing. I wouldn't care what, if the dressing rooms and the rest of the place is rubbish, if you've got somewhere nice to train, it makes such a difference, the pitches, and the pitches here have really been surprised how good they are, excellent, so that, that makes it for me, really, get out there and do some quality work with them. And the, the players have been great, the whole lot of them, they've all worked hard and showed a good attitude, so... Just get us, you know, hopefully they can do the same when it matters at the weekend. Touched on it when we spoke to you on Wednesday. Is this more of a mental thing, this job, that you've got to do with this? Well, it is mental, time? but, you know, is <laughs> Listen, I mean, at the end, it, it's, you know, you've got to try to instil some confidence in them and get them, you know, the results haven't been good, but, you know... You just hope that the players who can show what they show on the training ground, show it on the pitch. That's what they need to do. It's all right going out there on the training ground, all looking good. It's what they do on Sunday that counts, um, you know, in the proper game. So we'll find out. Obviously, don't expect you to tell us about training techniques and stuff like that. But have you changed on, on that side? Have you been able to? How are you sort of getting the team? In? Well, I don't know what they did, but I didn't sort of get involved in what's gone on before. I've just come here. I brought Stevie Cottrell with me, and uh, Paul Groves has come in. So, you know, we've, we've just got out there and, and, and sort of done it our way, really, with the players. Uh, we spent a lot of time today, two hours probably, just on, you know, a bit of shape, pattern of play, how we're looking to play, what we're looking to do when we have the ball. Um, you know, yeah, trying to get them really back to basics, you know, pretty basic, really, nothing that clever. Um, but, you know, give them some guidelines, what areas to play and when to play. And I think they, 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 they responded to it and I think they've enjoyed that, you know, sort of having it maybe put in black and white a little bit for them. Um, worked on corners, set plays with them. They're, so, they, yeah, they're, we're ready as, as we can be. If we're good enough, we'll find out. I know you haven't seen much of Blues this season. You probably know more no. about Villa than you do. <laughs> yeah. This yeah, well, I mean, Villa got more out, you know, the Villa team. They're all players, no disrespects that, you know, we all know a fair bit about. You know, I've seen quite a bit, of, seen them on the box quite a few times and they're all lads, you know, that have been been around Premier League and whatever. You know, they, they've, got, they've got a strong squad. There was a squad of players that I thought at the start of the year were certainties to, uh, to at least make the playoffs. And I thought they would, for me, they were probably, you know, I thought they'd, along with Newcastle at the start, I thought they would be my favourites to, uh, to go up straight away. And lastly, for me, uh, are you still in the doghouse, or has she come round yet? No, oh no, I've never been in the doghouse really. No, I think this morning I got, I, I went, I had to go home last night after training, and uh, but when the alarm went off at five o'clock this morning, I, I did say, I, I think I must be mad. She said, Yeah, I think you are. So that was it. I was off in, on the road and uh, heading back. But no, I've enjoyed it. It's been best thing. I've, I've loved the couple of days I've had here so far. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you.